Hey everybody, it's me, Picking for Profit, coming to you with a new video. I decided it's a new year, it's time for new content. It's been a while since I put anything out, so I hope you enjoy this sales update video. Um, if you're an OG and you've watched these sales update videos, um, you know how I do it. I go through each item, tell you what I bought it for, what I sell it for, um, and any little thing that you uh, should pay attention to. I am not going to show every single item I've sold. The video will be way too long. It's way too redundant. Um, so I just picked out a few items, so let's get right to it. This first item I'm showing you is a vintage Polaroid. You know I sell Polaroids, a lot of Polaroids. I've sold over 30 just uh, in the month of December. I decided to share this one because it's the only Jägermeister Polaroid I've ever had, um, and it sold for $120 with free shipping. It was priced at $149.99, which I think it would have sold for. Uh, but I was running a sale in my store, so someone got a good deal on that. This next item is a Zippo. Again, along with Polaroids, I sell a ton of Zippos. It's kind of my bread and butter. What I want to point out about this Zippo is subject matter. This isn't a special Zippo. Um, it's not very old. It's from the 2000s. So nothing to deal uh, with old, uh, nothing to do with the date, um, just subject matter. If you're a guy that drinks Bud Light and you smoke and you're out with your buddies, pulling this lighter out uh, will just make you feel that much cooler. So um, that is why this lighter sold for $34.99. Um, so make sure you pay attention to subject matter if you're buying Zippos to resell, not just the age of the Zippo. And this is, again, not a huge moneymaker, uh, but I wanted to put this in this video to show you that Sterling silver and turquoise sells extremely well. It's extremely popular right now, and it doesn't have to be signed by an artist. It doesn't have to be extremely old. This is nothing special, probably mass produced, um, and the stamp or in the stone was set by hand. Um, again, it was stamped Sterling 925, um, something like that. I believe this one was marked uh, 925 because it's not that old, but it's still sold, and it sold for $19.99. You can buy rings like this at the flea market, at least I can, uh, for just a couple bucks. So keep your eye out uh, for sterling and turquoise uh, combinations. This was a great little pickup from uh, Goodwill. I paid $6, uh, $6.99, maybe $7, bucks, um, and it is brand new. Everything is still in the package. And I sold this for $31.99. Again, it was on sale, so I didn't get as much as I would like. But $6 into $32, I'll take that. Here's a great item. I love photography. I love collecting old photography items. They're easy to display. They look great. And they're just good conversation pieces. Um, this one, I believe, shipped to New York City. So this, these are actually probably going to be used by an artist, is my guess. Um, they are just glass slides for the Magic Lantern. Uh, nothing too special, just a cool item, and they don't make them anymore. So uh, the artist is probably going for a certain look and achieves that by using these old plates. These sold for $23.99, and I paid just a, a dollar, maybe $2 at a garage sale for these. This next item is pretty cool. I purchased this just a few weeks ago. Um, it's a Roy Rogers cap gun, just a small little toy, a couple inches in length. Here's a picture of the size. Um, make sure when you're selling toy guns, even if it's obviously a toy and it's only a couple inches long, that you insert an orange tip in the end of the gun. I actually had my account suspended for, I believe it was three, maybe four days, uh, for just photoshopping the end of the gun orange. Um, do not do that. Learn from my mistake. eBay's algorithm... Uh, picks up on that sort of stuff. They put a lot of money into their software and they will use it and suspend your account. So uh, learn from my mistake. But again, cap guns always sell well. Roy Rogers sells well. Uh, this was a great little item. I picked it up for eight, maybe ten dollars, and on sale it sold for thirty-one ninety-nine. This Zippo I included because again, it's not an old Zippo. It's from two thousand, I think, uh, but it is WWF and it's Hardy Boys, and it's Red. So any cult following like the WWF has, stuff like that is what sells. Beer brands, cigarette brands, 
uh, anything with a cult following like this uh, lighter here. So make sure to put some thought into when you're buying these Zippos and uh, you'll be able to sell them for a lot. This one sold for $29.99 and I paid 8 bucks for it. Here's a great little item. I've learned uh, over the years that anything sterling silver with movable pieces, movable pieces, um, as this propeller spins, sell for extremely well. Uh, this isn't signed, it's just marked 925. It's not that old. Um, it sold for $49.99. So keep your eye out for, for movable parts made out of sterling silver. This is a great little bracelet. Again, the Indian, the Native American uh, patterns, that sort of thing, uh, sell extremely well, even if they're not anything too fancy. This is just a mass-produced Sanford uh, bangle bracelet, extremely small. I think this was a kid's one. Um, it sold for $39.99. I paid $2 for this. Here's a great little Minolta 16 PS. They call this a spy camera. Uh, just because it's a sub-miniature camera, I don't think it was really used by spies. But keep your eye out for new old stock. Anything vintage like this, still new in the package, someone out there wants it. So if you buy it right um, and you price it right, it will sell. This sold for $19.96, and I purchased this off of OfferUp, which is an app great for buying and selling. So if you're not aware or don't have OfferUp, make sure to download it. It's free. Um, I found a lot of great treasures on there. An easy item to sell or to buy and sell if you're just starting out is vintage Sony products. Any Sony CD player, I'm telling you right now, it will sell. So if you buy these just for a few bucks like I did here, especially a car kit like this, they sell extremely uh, well and extremely fast. Um, this one isn't the most sought after model, but it does sell. It did work, and I got $29.99. This is a great item. I purchased this at an auction. No one knew what it was. I asked pretty much everyone I knew at the auction. I purchased this for under $5. It was a real uh, low-class auction I was at. But you can just uh, tell that it was made well. It was cast iron. This wood, you can still see the saw marks in it. So I knew it was cool. I knew I had to have it. And my research showed that it's a nutcracker. So, again, it was at a time in America where they made things extremely well. And I sold this for $23.99, which is pretty low, uh, but I was able to make some money off of it. These are pretty cool. You probably don't know what these are. Uh, some of you might, but these are candle snuffers. So back in the day, people would use uh, candles as lights, especially at the dinner table. These have little legs on them. Uh, they would stand up on their table uh, exactly how you see them here. And when you time to put out a candle, you just open them up smush the wick, puts it out, and that's what they use. So um, these sell usually between 20 and 30 bucks, no problem. Unfortunately, this one was not selling. I lowered it to $14.99 and sold pretty quick. So I'm just glad that one's gone. These are really cool. These are This is a kit you would install on your old car. If you didn't know a lot of the cars back in the day, all the accessories to add on would make it extremely expensive. So you might think that a windshield washer is standard, but they always weren't. So you'd buy a kit like this, and you would put a washer, a windshield washer on your car. So someone restoring a car probably bought this, or they're just a collector in washer, wa windshield washers. Um, believe it or not, there's collectors for everything. So I purchased this at an auction. It was just um, in some stuff I bought. Just for a few bucks, I probably have into it, and it sold for 20 So, um Pretty interesting what people buy on eBay. I included this sterling silver piece in this video because A, it's sterling silver and sterling silver sells pretty well, and B, it's a rooster, which roosters are highly collectible. So you put those two together along with it being a piece of jewelry, and I knew it would sell. This one was signed. I can't figure out by who. If you know, please leave it in the comment box below. Um, but this sold for $31.39. I paid 10 bucks for that, so I didn't make a huge amount of money, but 10, 12 bucks, I'm happy with that. These were a great pickup. I picked these up just a couple days ago at an auction. Uh, they had an original sticker on them for $199. I did a quick search on eBay. 
realize they still uh, bring good money even though these are a few years old. Um, I priced mine at $149.99. I got a ton of people inquiring to buy it for $100. And one guy that sounded the most serious and was uh, willing to go up a little bit ended up giving me $119.99. So um, that was a good $40, $50 buck quick flip. I included this Zippo in this video uh, just to help you guys out uh, with a little trick. I tried selling this Zippo without the sterling silver and turquoise stone on it for months. No one would buy it. Um, I had it even down to $14.99. Still no bites. I glued on while well, I used um, epoxy for metal. Uh, this little turquoise stone that I got for less than a dollar. I always buy broken sterling and turquoise pieces. I glued it on here, relisted it, and sold it for $29.99 in just a day or two. So just a quick little trick to make your uh, product sell a little bit quicker. Add some uh, sterling, sterling silver and some turquoise. These you will find at flea markets, garage sales, auctions, everywhere. Um, probably didn't know what they are, maybe you did, but this is a self timer for an old camera. Uh, I've never listed these, I just always have them sit around and collecting after I sell the camera. Um, decided to sell them and everyone I sold I think I listed maybe three or four they all sold extremely quick and this sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents so pick those up for a buck or two and you'll do just fine here uh, I purchased this because it was new sealed it was a series Japanese animation I don't know nothing about it I don't know if it's a sought-after series but I was able to get $19.99. So make sure you just do some comps when you're out checking. Basically, if it's vintage and it's still new and sealed, if you can get it for a few bucks, just pick it up. These I included not because they're a huge money maker, but because you'll find them everywhere and they always seem to sell extremely well for me, especially if they're animals, uh, horses, cats, dogs, anything of that nature. Uh, these are just brass figurines. Um, just a dollar or two a piece, and we were able to sell them for $17.99, so we made about 10 bucks on those probably. These toys are coming back. These are Tamaguchi, big in the 90s. Um, they are remaking them one, making them now, and I think this is a newer one, but this one was opened. Uh, package was cut open. I believe it might have not been ever used, but I did sell it as used. And I got 20 bucks for it. I purchased it for just a couple bucks at the flea market. Here's another fun little toy. Um, nothing too special. I believe it's like a 1 16th scale model or toy of a semi with a car. Car comes out. Just a cool little item. I purchased this for just $2. I got two of them in the same flat for 5 bucks. So $2.50 I have into them. And I sold this one for $24.00. In 99 cents. So keep your eye out for these. You will see these Hess trucks out there. Um, pick them up if you can get them under five bucks. These are pretty cool. Uh, these are metal stamps, the full alphabet. And when people would machine parts out of metal, they would initial them. And that's what these are. These were in extremely good condition, uh, very sharp still. And if you were to buy these brand new, you'd be looking at spending a pretty penny. So I was able to squeak out $29.99. I priced mine a bit lower than everyone else, but I only had a couple bucks into these, so I was looking for the quick flip, and I got it. So uh, if you want some, if you want a little more money for yours, try pricing them at $39.99, and you'll probably get it. Here is a cool camera. If you ever see these red Polaroids, make sure to pick them up. You can get them for five bucks at garage sales, flea markets. Um, I sold this one for $39.99, and you should see later in the video I sold one for much more, uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. I, again, paid less than 5 bucks for this, so vintage Polaroids, make sure to pick them up and sell them. They always sell extremely well. Here is a Pentex K1000. If you ever see these K1000s, snatch them up. I paid 30 bucks for this. It was in working condition. The lens is a little dented where someone dropped it. Not a huge issue, uh, but make sure to disclose that in your listing. You don't want to get returns. And I was able to get 100 bucks for this. So I made about 40 to 50 bucks profit on that. 
If you watch a lot of my sales video, you know I like buying these gold fill rimmed glasses um, and putting them in lots and selling them for at least, they basically you get 10 bucks a piece when you lot them together. Recently I've been taking out the good glasses and just lotting up the ones that have issues and smart move because these sold for $29.99 and I've sold a few other pairs uh, for that price. So um, if they're in good condition, sell them individually. If they have damage, uh, you can put them in a lot and expect to get 10 bucks a piece for them. So um, keep that in mind when you're buying gold filled glasses. I included this Polaroid because this is probably a $30 Polaroid usually, but since it had the box and the manual, I priced it at $39.99 and it sold. So if you have the box, you can get a lot more. So don't throw away the box because it's in bad condition. Include it. This was a great pickup from the local flea market just a couple weeks ago. Um, I paid $15 for it. It was brand new, sealed. I got $89.99 with free shipping. So that was a good money maker. Oh, rest in peace, first DJI Phantom 4. This was my first drone. Um, unfortunately, I ran it into the side of a water tower working on a video for a client and had to buy another one. So I do have another one, but I just wanted to, to include this in the video because obviously I lost about $1,200. I didn't make any money on this. Um, but just know that you can sell broken electronics. Just make sure to sell them as parts. Um, someone might be looking for just a piece here and there, and instead of uh, paying DJI to fix it, you can do it yourself. So parts machines do fix or do sell. So uh, make sure to sell them. Here is the same cool cam you see that I sold for $39.99 a few items back. This one uh, was brand new in the original box. Actually, it's not brand new. It was refurbished by Polaroid. It had a little sticker on it. said it was refurbished. Never used since it's been refurbished. And I sold it for $89.99, which blows my mind. But it was Christmas season, so that might have had something to do with it. Here's a great uh, Polaroid to keep your eye out for. This is the XX70 folding camera. These you can usually get about $100 to $150 if they're in working condition. This one did have a small break. You can see on the left hand side it's supposed to be a 90 degree angle. This one is broke off right there. Um, not a big deal. It probably still did work. I never tested this. I sold it as untested and I got 70 bucks for it. I had $30 into it. So I'm um, not a huge money maker but I made some bucks. And I wanted to include this because I've seen a lot of people throw old film away because it's expired. Polaroid film still sells even though it's expired. Some of this expired in the 80s, some in the 90s, and some in the early 2000s. And I was still able to lot them together and get $51.99. So make sure to sell old expired film. People still buy it. And the last item I'm going to show you is this Zippo. Again, this is not old, early 2000s, but it does have a piece of turquoise. This might be sterling silver, but it doesn't look like it to me. Um, so I don't, I didn't list it as, I just listed it as turquoise, collectible, 2001, and it sold for $49.99. So keep your eye out for Zippos. Subject matter, um, age, all of it matters. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you learned something. Hope you've seen a few items that maybe you don't see every day that now you'll pick up because you know you can make some money. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see any specific videos, leave it in the comment box below or direct message me. And if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram to see what I do on the daily, it's the same as it is here. It's picking number four profit. Ton of content out there, ton of information. So make sure to give me a follow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the year, stay prosperous, and we'll see you. Peace.